All I know about music is that not many people ever really hear it. And even then, on the rare occasions when something opens within and the music enters, what we mainly hear, or hear corroborated, are personal, private, vanishing evocations. But the man who creates the music is hearing something else, is dealing with the roar rising from the void and imposing order on it as it hits the air. What is evoked in him, then, is of another order, more terrible because it has no words, and triumphant, too, for that same reason. And his triumph, when he triumphs, is ours. I had never before thought of how awful the relationship must be between the musician and his instrument. He has to fill it, this instrument, with the breath of life, his own. He has to make it do what he wants it to do. And a piano is just a piano. It's made out of so much wood and wires and little hammers and big ones and ivory. While there's only so much you can do with it, the only way to find this out is to try, to try and make it do everything. Then Creole stepped forward to remind them that what they were playing was the blues. Creole began to tell us what the blues were all about. They were not about anything very new. He and his boys up there were keeping it new at the risk of ruin, destruction, madness, and death in order to find new ways to make us listen. For a while, the tale of how we suffer and how we are delighted and how we may triumph is never new. It always must be heard. There isn't any other tale to tell. It's the only light we've got in all this darkness. Listen, Creole seemed to be saying. Listen. Sonny played. Every now and again, one of them seemed to say, Amen. Sonny's fingers filled the air with life. His life. I seemed to hear with what burning he had made it his, with what burning we had yet to make it ours, how we could cease lamenting. Freedom lurked around us, and I understood at last that he could help us to be free if we would listen, that he would never be free until we did. And I was yet aware that this was only a moment, that the world waited outside as hungry as a tiger, and that trouble stretched above us longer than the sky. <laughs>